welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with my December daily, which I have inundated with the Flare Hut Flare from the um, Advent calendar and then some extras that I have in my stash. Um, I decided that I would create my December daily um, with Vicki Booten's Warm Wishes. So I bought the 6x8 um, the scrapbook and all the stash that I thought I might need from Peacecraft Love back in August or September. It was kind of early because I knew what I wanted to do. So I went ahead and ordered it while I knew she had it. And um, so I pretty much used all but a couple scraps of my six by eight paper pad. I had the puffy alpha or the puffy uh, word titles. I used about 50% of one sheet of those. Um, I had the sticker book and I used quite a bit of that. Um, I had the chipboard and I used more than half of that. I think uh, there still looks like there's quite a bit, but it's um, because of, of the nature of a six by eight pay, um six by eight book some of them are like three by four and some of the things in um, the, her chipboard is a little big for that so and then the other thing I use like I said was my advent flare from the holiday flare so I ordered both the holiday and the colors advent calendars um, and so these right here are the ones that I still have at least one flare left in um, most of them I used at least one or more out of them like day number one there's only one flare left because it was um, a shade of pink that did not work with the layout that I was looking at um, now this stack right here I used every flare out of every one of these envelopes and um, I'd say one full one of those and a partial are from previous layouts but the majority of that is in this book and it is fat yes I know and I don't care um I have Ikea Calyx units in my scrap space that's where I keep my um scrapbooks but my I have all of my Christmas stuff in some like decorative boxes that sit kind of um cattywampus up on the top shelf kind of more decorative um, I feel like if I can add a little decoration but still have organizational stuff going on, then that's perfect. And so um, that is where it'll stay on the top. And so I don't care that it's bulky. So one of these layouts has my design team. Um, I had I used three of the six that I received in my design team Christmas memories um, flare. I used those for my December the 12th flare design team flare hut um and then the other three i used today and so i apologize adam i did not get my tw day 24 uh, design team layout done and i really haven't been active in the advent calendar either because i was unable um i didn't get it until a little late and then it's been crazy i mean i know everybody's crazy this time of year so anyway i hope this makes up for it and i'm sorry <laughs> Um, so every layout in here is going to have flair. These two on the front, which I absolutely adore, did not come from my advent calendar. They were, um, some flair that Adam sent me, uh, with my stash. So here's day one and the cover page and day one can be found on, um, Thursdays, 14 days of Christmas. And then day two and day three can be found today on Saturday the 31st um, 14 days of Christmas so I go over the process of how I create or actually I do just do the process of creating it in front of y'all um, these are the flare from day two I love them there's a little Santa Claus a little candy um, day three I I use day threes but I also used a couple from I think day 21 or something those gold and silver stars on the bottom because that picture was taken at night I thought that would be super fitting so I went ahead and grabbed those from a future advent envelope um, I'm okay with that 
Day four is covered up because it's a student. I went to go see her in the Nutcracker and that picture is blurry and at a distance and I can barely make out the kiddo's face. Um, and I know who I'm looking for. <laughs> so I wasn't worried about that one. Um, day five, we had had cookie day on day three and day five, I was delivering all the goodies to school and sharing with my friends. Day six, my dog ate a bunch of chocolate and that's me sending a picture saying, look, he feels better. Uh, this doggy paw flare did not come from the advent calendar either. It came from my stash, um, puppy love or paws or something like that. Day seven is back at school and my friends are crazy. Day eight, I was puppy sitting for my Neff pup packs. Um, and those are flare from those days, except that heart flare is not from, um, the advent calendar, uh, chocolate fountain at school. Um, and that joy to the world is also not from the advent calendar. Um, then I decorated my apartment with that wreath my cousin sent me and my tree that I hadn't decorated yet. And that flare right there is my favorite. Um, day 11, when I went to church and wrapped, got some presents organized for some kiddos and then went to my sister's for my brother-in-law's birthday. Day 12, oh, I love the little gingerbread guy hanging from the tree lights. So cute. Um, hanging out with my girlfriends and having a good old time. So those are the flair down there from day 12, but not that cute little gingerbread man. Day 13 has two pages. Um, and so I used, these are not from day 13. They're from another day because I'd already used day 13's flair. But I found flair elsewhere that worked. And me and my friend from work went shopping to buy stash for some, um, a Christmas party at school for our kiddos. Day 14, uh, the 12 days of Christmas at school, they made us pancakes. These lovely ladies, my boss and the admin staff. Um, and then my son, of course, came to help eat them. And then this is at church that night where my mom and my son were hanging out, helping get things organized for the Christmas project. And then me and my poinsettia. And I love that poinsettia flair. I don't typically do too much decorating with poinsettias, but I love this flair. Um, me and my reindeer antlers. So I got a perfect opportunity to use the reindeer from this collection. There's usually an animal or critter in every collection that I'm like, how am I going to use that? So I was so excited to find a way, a reason, a rational reason to put them in there. Day 17 was Christmas project at church. And so I have two pages for this because it's a big event. The first page is of the prep work and all this people that came out to help us help a hundred families in need. That's me and my bestie welcoming people coming to get their stuff. And then that's me, my mom and my bestie having lunch after we were done. Day 18, I just had one little picture of my dog in my reindeer antlers, which is super, super cute. I mean, come on, guys. And another opportunity to use some rainbow, uh, the rain, rainbow, the reindeer sticker. And then day 19, all I did was scrapbook all day long. It was the first day of Christmas break. I knew the next day I would be at the hospital with my best friend. And so I scrapbooked all day. So I just took a couple pictures of my layouts and printed those. And that's what I documented with. Um, day 20 was at the hospital with my bestie because she was having surgery and I was sending this picture to our friends to say that she was doing okay. And the day, that day we had epoxy flare and teal is her favorite color. Adam must have known. Uh, day 21, I love that flare. It is a red shine. You can't really get a good grip on. Oh, there we go. Um, and that's the day I think those stars came with that day. The shiny stars were back on day three. Um... And then day 21 was um, my best friend after her hospital visit. And then day 22 was more scrapbook layouts. Um, this flare right here came from an MK gun, some assemblage required mashup with Dottie about flare, which is now the flare hut. Um, and I had, that was the last one left from that collection. And there's my dog eating his Christmas cookie on Christmas Eve. This is my favorite little thing that I've done. I love this so much. That little Santa Claus came off of my Christmas present from Adam. Um, he sent the design team a little Christmas present. I promise I waited till it was Christmas in Manchester. Um, it was 10 till midnight. So it was almost midnight here or almost Christmas here. So, but it was meant Christmas there. So I used the stuff from the packaging to document it. And I love how that turned out. 
And then this is Christmas morning. My son opening his stocking. Yes, that's a Subway sandwich. That's what he asked for. He didn't expect it to happen, especially since we had snow and ice for three days before Christmas. But he got his Subway sandwich in his stocking. Um, and my daughter got some kitchen stuff. Uh, those are the trees at my house and my sister's where we went. That no peeking came from my uh, day 25 from um, the flare hut. As well as some of that flare. And then um, also on the Christmas tree day was the design team flare, um, all those ornaments. And then day 25 still, this is us having dinner. My sister's cutting the turkey or carving the turkey. Um, and then here we are having dinner all but my mommy. My mommy wasn't there because on day 26, I went to go see her and take her her presents and keep a distance because she had COVID. She was dying. She took a test on Christmas morning because she felt like she had a cold and just to be safe and ended up having daggone COVID. I swear, I don't know what to do with that lady. Three years we've been dealing with this pandemic and she's never had it. She's been exposed multiple times because I ended up with it and sat right next to her, took pictures cheek to cheek and she did not get it. And now out of the blue, we don't even know where she got it. She hadn't really been anywhere. But huh, wasn't me this time. Was not me. Uh, so anyway, I have loved creating this. I know I did it in like three days, and that seems rushed and crazy. But I, when I, I've got these days off because I work in a school, obviously because due to the crazy pictures you've already seen. Um, when I have these days off, that's what I like to do. My kid is playing with all his new video games, and I'm sleeping in. And other than that, I just want to enjoy my crafty space so I've done a couple projects and this is one of them and I've had such a good time with it so um and using a lot of this flair made me happy um I don't typically scrapbook a ton of Christmas but I do like to do the 25 you know the um uh, Christmas in January, Christmas in March, you know, all that on the 25th every month. So I am going to keep the stash of Christmas. Um, I, I still need to make Christmas layouts for my 12 by 12 scrapbook for my chronological scrapbook. So I will do that and I will use flare and things and some of these stash things that, um, Adam sent in our day 25. Um, so I will do that, but I want to keep some to use throughout the year for the, um, you know, on the 25th of every month when we do Christmas in whatever that month is. So, plus I want to have some to get started next year, um, depending on when I start documenting Christmas in 2023. I can't believe that it's 2023 tomorrow, you all. I mean, that just seems insane to me. But anyway, so I have these flare left over plus the ones that are in my little packet, um, I will keep my envelopes and then those were orange and blue. Those are the color advent. Um, and since obviously I didn't have time to get into the Christmas one until the day after Christmas, um, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I am going to open those up and document with them. I think I'll do something either January or maybe February. It depends. It may just completely be random, but um, I want to leave them in their envelopes. Maybe just draw them out randomly and document a layout with them. I don't know. T if you all have suggestions, let me know, but something like that's going to happen. Anyway, I have a new series starting tomorrow, New Year Old Stash, and some other things going on in January, so I hope you will come back and see me. Please go check out the Flare Hut, and I hope you all have a fantastic holiday. Have a great night, and happy scrapping.